Hi, I'm Valerie. And I'm Taylor. And welcome to Fantasy Gossip, where we talk all things fantasy and our favorite ways to escape reality. Today's episode, we have a very special guest. It's the one and only High Lord of the Night Court from our Chapter 54 fan film, Max Ehrlich. We're so excited to have you. Hi, I'm so happy to be on the podcast. We're so happy to have you on the podcast. Um, and just part of Chapter 54, part of our like our little inner circle. We're just like literally so dang excited. We actually just got to see Max as Aladdin last night yeah. in Aladdin on the Broadway. He was amazing. Yeah. That's why I'm clean shaven. Oh, oh really? <laughs> oh. Yeah, they like our they like their Aladdin's clean shaven. So okay, yeah. that's a little behind the scenes insider knowledge right there. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, for the for the film, you had a little five o'clock shadow going on because Resam was distraught. Yeah, yeah I, I was talking with both of you. I talked with Taylor about it as well, being like, what what do we think, Resand? Is he clean shaven? You know, because I, I have to, for my ensemble part in Aladdin, I keep a, my beard. And I was like, well, I don't think Resand has a beard. Right. Um, but he wouldn't be clean shaven either. I mean, he's distraught. Mm-hmm. He's worried about his mate. He's, you know, his his heart is kind of broken in a way yeah um yeah so we had a little a little five o'clock shadow to <laughs> add some detail to chapter 54 it, it worked <laughs> it was and when you asked me that too I was like oh my god these are things I wouldn't think of maybe because I'm a girl and I don't have to shave my face but like <laughs> sure <laughs> definitely like that is a like a little detail I think there was a lot of little details throughout like the film that just made it work really well but I don't know what else is start from the beginning so we have some fan questions people we reached out on instagram to see what they wanted to ask you and we also have some comments we'd like to read to you but before we dive into that maybe let's just start at the beginning of kind of like this whole journey and like share it for everybody of like how you found out about the role i know you've told us this a few times but most people don't really know so share it one more time for the audience perhaps absolutely i um uh at Aladdin uh the cast was uh creating kind of a book club where one person would read it recommend it to someone else and they would recommend it to someone else and then soon there were like eight copies floating throughout the building with different cast members company members crew members uh reading the series um and I think I want to say I was probably the last person to jump on board Oh, wow. One of the last people to jump on board and uh, I got hooked. It, it's a great story. Um, and I was in the middle of the third book when I was writing home with my partner, Ori, who's also in the show. Wait, did she and... read the book first? And was she like, you need to read this? Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> she, she started, she started and she was probably like, 50 to 100 pages ahead of me the entire time until we both oh, yeah. finished the third book took a little break for winter solstice and then came back <laughs> um but then we were on the trade ride home uh and we were talking about how this would make such a good tv series it's very epic it would be grandiose and the the um the story in general i feel like lends itself to uh the screen as well And then I uh, got a notification on my phone for my actor's access account. And it was a casting call for the role of Reese in uh, a fan-made short film based on the Akotar series. And (laughs) I read it maybe four or five times before (laughs) asking my partner. I said, Ori, can you look at this and just make sure (laughs) I'm not seeing things that I'm not hallucinating because we literally had just talked about it. Uh, So I submitted, I submitted my headshot and resume and I think maybe like some clip of myself and uh, you guys responded and sent me a little bit of the script and I was so excited. Um, You know, midway through the third book, you're deep into the politics of it all, but but they still 
are able to uh sarah is so good at still involving a lot of the romance and the and the depth of the characters and especially the second book so when i found out that it was going to be based on the second book i got so excited i did my i did my actor homework and submitted something to you and then a few days later got the email saying that you guys would like to have me as your resand and we were like absolutely obsessed because yeah yeah so behind the scenes on our end we had um a lot of people submit for it and then we went through and then i saw in your comment i was like you were you were like i'm reading the third book you put a comment on there and you're like love the story and i was like oh, this is even better yeah. and i was like this is great <laughs> uh, i was like so he definitely has to be like we're definitely sending him like a, like a call back i guess and um when we were watching the other like callbacks and then Valerie was at work and I was sitting actually on this couch um, and I was sitting here watching all the different auditions and I was like, okay, like I, I can maybe work with this guy. Oh yeah, we can maybe work with this one. Like this one might work. Oh, da, 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 da. And like, we can maybe edit and, you know, give a, a, advice and whatnot. And um, then I watched your audition and I was just like actual tears. <laughs> like, I immediately cried. And cause you had sent me because there's this other guy we were interested in too and like he like we were stalking his Instagram and we were like wow like this guy looks really great like hopefully you know and then you sent me his audition and I was just like huh and then right after that I watched Mac I watched yours and I was just like this is night and day I was like that he's making me cry right now I was like the like this is making me feel emotion and I think like that's kind of when you know that that's when we knew this is because you made us feel something and the whole goal of I think creating stuff especially like for us like we like to make people feel emotions mostly like yeah. with our audios and stuff we were already doing that so but also I don't know if people don't know but you weren't our original resand we had somebody else um and they ended right. up backing out and I think it's really that was like really stressful for us at first but I'm so happy because I, it's like everything happened for a reason, you know, it was so weird how everything aligned. And like, if that guy didn't back out, we would never even know you, which is crazy. Right. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, like I, I, you wouldn't have been to Aladdin three times in the past three. <laughs> <laughs> That's also true. What a tragedy. <laughs> That's really all that matters. That's, that's like, really the big thing. So no, I just don't think it would have worked as well. Yeah. Um, because I feel like, and our other, the first guy we hired is Reese. He was very green in acting, but we were just, you know, he was a local guy around here and we were just willing to take a chance on him. Mm -hmm. um, and he looked the part and we were like, yeah, sure. And um, I have to give you all the credit in the world. Um, because you are so talented that you just came prepared. You knew the character. This other person didn't read the books yet. They didn't really know the character that well. And that day, Valerie and I were wearing so many hats, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. so many different pieces of the puzzle. And again, I will say this humble in the face. I'm an idiot and did not realize I was in every <laughs> single scene. <laughs> and yeah. so <laughs> I was like, well, I, it was after the wedding scene. I was just like, when do I get a break? You don't. When am I no, going to have a break? And I, I just didn't. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't want to put on another dress. I don't want to put on another outfit. So I was exhausted after, like, we was putting on the Starfall dress. And I was expecting, like, the first time I wore this dress, all finished, all done. I was going to be so excited, but I was not. Because I was just exhausted. And I was like, this is ah, too much. Overstimulated. Anyway, but I couldn't imagine working with anyone else as Resan but you. Because you came so prepared. And you are so talented that, like... I couldn't imagine wearing a single other hat, like having to worry about what you were doing and worry mm -hmm. about anything with you. You were just like, okay. Like you were just so like, just had it. He had it, you know, it was literally amazing. <laughs> but also, um, do you want to tell, let the audience know that if Max doesn't be resand for future films, you don't want oh, yeah, to. I already, yeah, I already, I'm, I'm gracefully bowing out. Like I'm, <laughs> Because because you were talking about just his professionalism and like just yeah. commending you for that as well. Like you just made made you comfortable, you know, in a way like you're not, you know, it, like you're not on stage. Sure, all the time. absolutely. Well, I will say too that I 
I've talked a lot about this with my cast members and doing different projects, you know, on theater and on film too, that a big thing about the, the crew and especially the director and the producers and everything is the, an important part is to make their actors feel comfortable because when they feel comfortable, they can put on a good performance. And mm-hmm. I, I'll say that the night when Ori and I drove in and we, uh, I met Valerie and I got to see Taylor again, I immediately felt so comfortable diving into Aww. this project and, and meeting Steven and meeting Ga- uh, Gabby that I, I felt so comfortable waking up the next morning and giving the performance that I was proud to give. I, I tell everyone this, that when I, you two made me feel so comfortable and so alive and so joyous doing this because of your passion and your personalities are awesome too that I, I felt, yeah, <laughs> but I felt cry. so open to give um, a performance that all of us could be proud of. Um, it's, yeah. it, and also I think we've talked about this before that this is, you know, it's, it's resand, it's daddy resand. I, I, and I yeah. use my daddy as well as yours. And <laughs> I wanted to do him justice as well. And so I, I had to do my research. I had to do my homework. Um, and I, I yeah. wanted to bring in everything did. for him. Yeah. You did such a good job. Yeah. yeah. But also like, you're like, you know, you were like, if he isn't resand again, you're like, I'm just not as, as comfortable with other people because, you know, it's in that acting space where Farah and resand, they're a couple and like, I don't know, I don't have much acting experience. So I, I, to me, it's like, I've never been in that situation where you have to act through that. You have to act like you're in love with somebody that right. you're not and like what that's yeah. like, you know? I was telling Valerie, like I used to do a lot of acting and like theater and all this kind of stuff. And there was definitely moments where like lines would blur where they'd say cut and lines would blur. Sure. And like, I never appreciated that. And I was, I was like, ugh. And then I remember I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Like I was so nervous when the, Valerie was like, I want you to be Farah. And like Gabby and Steven were like, yep, you're going to be Farah. And I was like, I don't know about this guys. I literally... I think I sent you like at least five other people. And I was like, please don't make me do this. <laughs> please don't make me do this. But you are absolutely killed it. Oh gosh. And then like working with you. And that's why I told Valerie afterwards. I was like, it was cut. And it was always like laughter and silliness. And it was just, there was never lines blurred. And also like, I felt really, and this is me being so vulnerable. I felt so weird not having my husband there. Yeah, I'm I sure. so weird. Because it's like, an oh intimate gosh. scene. Like, yeah. It yeah, is. Yeah. But I was so happy Ori was there too, because mm-hmm. that definitely, I think, brought you a lot of comfort as well. So much comfort. Because again, like, I mean, I only met Max for what, like 30 minutes? Yeah, that was a quick <laughs> in and out. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I, I drove to New York City um, one day and I was like, all right, I'm going to, we're going to try on the costumes. So I'd only met you like for 30 minutes and I, you were lovely and you were so sweet and you were so nice and you were so excited. And I was like, wow, this is great. Like, he's awesome. Like I remember calling down and I was like, great energy. He's like amazing. This is going to be great. But like, I didn't know you that well. And I was like, oh God, like this could like, you know, and I have been out of the scene for so long that I was like, you know, you just have those moments that you just immediately flash back to him. Yeah. You were more than professional, which I mean, obviously you do this like every night for your job, but I I should have known better, but I was just so like, okay. And I told, I mean, yeah, I told Valerie, like, if you bow out as Reese, I'm gracefully bowing out as Fair and let's get out of here and let's find (laughs) someone else. But I was like, I'm not doing it. Absolutely. Well, I will say now that I'm, I'm reading the fifth book, I'm almost done. Um, But now when I read, I would always come up with like different ideas of what the characters looked like with my imagination. But now I just think of you, Taylor. Oh, <laughs> I think of you as well. So it Thanks. works out. What about me? Huh? What about your cousin? You're definitely just more. Just she just doesn't show up as often. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. But what was, you know, so I guess before, but before you met us, I guess on your drive, were there any conversations that you and Ori had that you would like to maybe share with everyone? Like maybe something you haven't told us yet? Well, a lot of, I I worked with my acting coach on this a lot. I I did a lot of work on this because I, I I wanted to, I wanted to do my best. And um, I think the biggest thing was having to, one thing that my acting coach told me was a lot of film, the audience reads, like a lot of stage, the audience reads action and vocal inflection. Like that's their, their communication devices to get information from the story. 
with film, it's they're reading emotion and knowledge, and that's through the eyes. And she was saying that if you don't have that knowledge within you, you can't give the emotion that the scene requires. And so having to, I, there was one day where I went to Central Park for like four hours and just like went through the script and meditated on everything I talked about. Like I had to think about reliving Under the Mountain with Amarantha. I had to wow. relive the wedding scene. I had to relive feeling uh, Feyre's, uh heartbreak and fear and having to relive all those moments in Reese's life was tough because I had never lived for 500 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> so having all of those really? experiences, no, I, surprisingly I you could enough, just pop your wings out right now. Exactly. I wish, but <laughs> I, uh, and I was telling her that I actually had a, um, I created a playlist on my Spotify for those moments. And I was going through um, different like ambient soundtracks and video game soundtracks and anime soundtracks and finding songs that if I listened to it would give me the feeling of those different moments in the story of like being under the mountain of seeing that dream in Favor's hand for the first time of Cal and Mai for the first time of scaring Tamlin of, you know, all those. Wow. Can moments. we share this playlist? I'll have to. Fi- yeah, I think so. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely share it. Um, it's on I my Spotify. People would, be, to... people would, I know we would be interested in hearing it, but I know the audience would also, I think the fans would be really interested in Ab- hearing absolutely. What, what brought you to this. That's amazing. Absolutely. That's amazing. Yeah. And I remember before we started, I think you guys were doing your, you were shooting uh, the first scene. And I had to step away, go into my room and like put put my plugs in and just listen to the first song. Cause I was able to get the first song to like kind of click me into everything. Yeah. And so I listened to it and then came out like still kind of like humming the tune. Um, Wait a second, that actually tracks because I feel like I can kind of almost remember because even in, like when we would hit a cut and we would break, you would still be like, your eyes would be like focusing on something else. Like, yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense, was, but like you were really in the scene the whole time. Wow, yeah. What? Like kind of like cool. tunnel visioning myself of yes. like, okay, yeah. this is the moment. And then when we call it cut, it's like, I can't just let it all fade away. It had to. Yeah, you were still, you can see in the behind the scenes that you're still like, you're just waiting to jump back into like action. You're like yeah. still him, <laughs> you know, but I, I want to back to what you said about the eyes like mm-hmm. that is literally that's why that that one scene where we get the close up of your face and the close up of the tears coming in your eyes when you were talking about how like I wanted to tell you you know right after it's right before starfall mm-hmm. and like you delivered that like what your acting coach was talking about you delivered it you saw you saw in your eyes the emotion and it's my f- favorite part of the entire film because you really get to see up close your face and your eyes oh it just <laughs> that perfect. really means so much valerie it that moment too i remember i remember filming that moment too and it was when i was backing away from taylor and honestly just the heat of another person of the connection really like helped me drop so into the character and feel the weight of the of the scene because, and this is very layered, but like backing away from the heat, not only from Taylor, fireplace, the fireplace <laughs> that was so ungodly hot. Taylor was sweating the entire time and she had to stand there the whole time. But in a sweater. <laughs> in a sweater. Yeah, I know. But backing away from both the fire and Taylor's heat and like losing that warmth, like it felt like a, like, my soul was losing warmth and I was able to like, just like sit in that vulnerability instead of backing away from it. You were just like, it was just to keep my land safe. Yeah. Oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) When we first watched it for the first time, the rough cut, we were both like, 
What? <laughs> Literally. The, no, the one part that I love is when you're saying um, my mate and you're like looking my mate and then you look in my direction and you're like my mate and like it's like your moment of like realization and I was just like it's almost kind of like he was looking at us like the audience for a second mm -hmm. you know because he's looking this direction and then he just he shifts and it's just like oh it's the little thing you were amazing like, it wow. was it, it was really fun I mean and especially repeating it three times that was one thing that as a as a as an audience member as a reader myself I'm not a big fan of when the author repeats something you know over and over again because reading it i'm just like my mate my mate my mate okay next line you know like i i don't yeah. put weight to it but then voicing it as the person i was like okay how am i going to do this and i had to give like three specific things and that last one definitely when i would like connect back with taylor it was like telling you that like it was like just admitting it telling myself and then telling you that like this is locked. This is this is the end all be all. We're locked in. We're here, locked like... in. Yeah. <laughs> Cauldron blessed. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what like what was your impression? So I know you said what your impression of us was, mm -hmm. but once you film day started and you kind of watched Taylor and I go with the first scene and you were kind of seeing Steven and Gabby, did that um, seeing that energize you, like, kind of like, oh, like, this is, this is really going to be something. Like, di when did you realize that it was going to be kind of more than just like, I guess, what a lot of people thought in our lives was even Eric, like, they didn't take it as seriously. Sure. Like, yeah, yeah. Like iPhones or something. Like, I, you know. Exactly. Like, no, I think. So, like, when did you realize, I guess. I that... think. Um, well, I did a little bit of research. I looked at um, Steven's um, website and just looking at the work that he's done, just at still frames, I was like, whoa, this is lit very well. Like it's comp the, the frames are composed very beautifully. And then watching, watching them work as Steven was like setting lights and setting different camera settings and working a, like running around you three while Gabby was calmly explaining um and helping you pull out more of your characters it was it, it was like a dance honestly and a beautiful dance at that to watch them do what they do so well in perfect harmony without disturbing each other and that was kind of what got me into the mood of like oh like we're doing this we're really doing this. And I think Ori said it really well. She said it to Gabby um, on the day of the filming. And I absolutely agree. And I think this is what stood out so prominently for Gabby was that she has such a incredible way of talking with, talking with the actor and directing the actor in a way where it doesn't seem condescending. It feels encouraging. It feel, it feels, um, it it feels like she wants the best for us and the encouragement side of it lifts the actor up instead of i want this don't do that do this that that is very much for an actor and experienced actors know to you know okay what he said how do i interpret that for myself but she said it and she would say uh directorial notes or suggestions in a way that would inspire Mm -hmm. their uh, her actors and i saw it in both of you when i was watching you work and that was that's that was the real moment when i was like oh yeah we're gonna be freaking doing this um <laughs> because the way she talked with you and the way that both of you responded in and, and if you're saying that you haven't acted in a while you would have never been able to tell because that was of, my first time <laughs> and, and you can't tell because the oh, the one nice. one she she made you feel and how you guys made us feel comfortable she made you feel comfortable enough to bring out a character that's worth watching God, and, that was and, the first time and, i've seen gabby direct yeah and her watching her direct was yeah just a beautiful um partnership between her and the actors that was it was just awesome and then also watching steven um i was able to like peek over his shoulder at the shots and i think the first time i did that i was like taking behind the scenes footage and then i got like a glimpse and i like peered past my phone and i was 
I was like, holy crap, that looks amazing. <laughs> right? That could, that could be in the theaters tomorrow. I had the same reaction because like I had seen Steven stuff too, but I think it's just different watching it live. And I feel so blessed that I wasn't in the scene with you two because I got to just eat it up the whole time. And I, oh my God, it makes me want to cry. I want to cry. No, you're literally <laughs> crying right now. <laughs> you're crying right now. Like, like It was the moment. And I always tell everybody this, like it's like of that day. Like if I have to tell them one story, it's when we were doing the run through with you for the first time and you memorized the entire monologue like you didn't like you just knew it and you just started going and and you just started saying stuff in front of the table and you had the whole get up and everything and I'm just like sitting there like like this a kid the first in a time candy we saw you as Reese like literally as you like, in character because like I'll be honest Max you and Reese are very different like when you're Max you're fun and you're silly and you're just like a light to be around like you're just like glowing and then when you were Reese like I could feel the shift because you were all of a sudden like like it was like a distinct shift. darker like oh, yeah yeah was, like way darker yeah. and you, you made such a good shift that it's so you're so talented that I could feel it like the presence in the room totally shifted well, yeah. thank you. So I just yeah. wish I I wish so badly there were like hidden cameras around the entire uh cabin at this point because I'm sure Ori already knew because I'm sure you did it in front of her, so I'm sure she already but everyone else, like Kirsten, Jen, myself, um, Eric, you, Gabby and Steven, like everyone's reactions, like I was just sitting there at first, like like oh my god there's a high lord of the night courts in this room right now and like even eric he's just sitting there like on the stairs like playing on his phone and then you just see him like leaning starting to lean over and like look at you and then like jen is like leaning over and looking and then i know your facial expression was like changing and like just everyone was just like wait a minute like he's just why is we not filming this right now (laughs) and it was just that moment where like I think that's the moment I realized like we were going to do something here. Like we had the perfect resand. We had like the, the perfect crew. And I was like, this is going to, that's the moment I realized people were going to freak the fuck out (laughs) because I was freaking out inside. And she's right. Like you, you, you and resand are very different people. And like to just, I didn't feel him in that room until that happened, you know, because that's when when you like switched it on. Like I was in that scene with you and I just remember (laughs) I was again facing the stove and I remember looking to Valerie and going, oh my God. (laughs) Like mouthing. (laughs) (laughs) Losing my mind. And then I broke character. I remember I definitely turned around at one point and was just like, are you, is this real? Like, <laughs> and you just kept going, and I was like, "What is happening?" Because again, I think we just you blew us out of the water. Like, you literally, we we knew you were talented. We saw your audition and everything, but then I guess like seeing you in costume, how dedicated you were, the tattoos, the purple contacts, the wings, everything. It was just amazing, amazing. And I think at one point I even looked at Ori, and I was like, what the heck? "This yeah. is insane, Who is this guy." <laughs> But then I was like, I would, I just was felt so blessed because I was like, who are we to get such talent, you know? And I was like, how did we, like, how did this happen? It's, it, that's <laughs> so funny you say that because I, <laughs> the moment that you guys said, we want you to be resand, I was like, I am just honored to be like, if, if someone was like, hey, does anyone want to like be resand and like read this monologue? Like on a Saturday night when we have nothing to do, I would, I would have raised my hand and said, yes, I want to do that. But then to have like a camera and a set and a whole production of it all, I was, I was honored to do it. And because he's incredible and to dive so deep into someone who has such a complicated past is like kind of a actor's dream. Yeah. It's, it's fun. I feel like you really got to dive really deep and like, it it inspired me like I was like man I want to like do you know like take Morgan to to deeper places like she's got a lot of crap going on in the books like she's been through a lot of stuff and I was like how fun is that to take somebody and you got to do Rhysand at his like 
his biggest moment and his most vulnerable biggest moment in the entire series. And I'm like, oh my God, that was, that's, that's so much fun. I feel like as an actor, you had so much to play with, with him. Yeah, absolutely. With the whole, the whole text too. He, um, the, the different moments and the different emotions, it was like an emotional roller coaster trying to like track where he's going and how he gets there and everything like that. Um, and it was really cool listening to Steven and Gabby talk about it too during and afterwards where Steven was like, I didn't expect you to memorize any of it. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> there you were saying the whole thing before we even said action. Um, I was, I, I was very happy about that. Well, you should be. So we cut the script down. So fun fact, when we first talked to Steven about this, he was like, all right, yeah, we'll film like a five minute, five minute scene. And I was like, okay, cool. And then fun fact, chapter 54, we broke it down in like the actual script. It was 19 pages. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. And I was like, how do we take, I would sit there, you can ask Valerie for months and I would sit there re- like reading the lines and recording it on my phone, like cutting it and cutting it and cutting it and cutting yeah. it. And then I and be like, these are, I was like, these are the lines that have to be in there. Like you can't uh-huh. take these ones out. And then you were working with the script. Yeah. I worked on the script and I remember I called you, we had a chat in Colorado at, when I was in Colorado. Oh, right. And yeah. I remember, yeah. And you were like, Hey, I just want to talk to you about the script or something like that. And then, um, I was, I, I cut so many lines out because Steven also said, Taylor, be mindful of this actor you're acting, asking to play Ray Sand. Like he cannot memorize all these lines. And I was like, oh, that's so right. Let me take all this stuff out. And then you called me and you said, hey, do you mind if like I add some stuff back to the script? Because I feel like I'm I'm missing pieces. And I feel like, you know, there's more to his story. And I was like, yeah, I, I cut it out for, I thought you I thought it was making your life easier, but if you want to add it in, by all means, add whatever. I was like, I don't really care. Take the script and run with it. And then you came back and mind you, I made this off of Microsoft Word. Literally like the most like janky looking script. Max comes back, redid this entire script looking so professional. And I was like, what? (laughs) And Steven was so thankful because Steven's like, this is how I read. And this is like how I, like, this is his, like, um, his language. Right, right. how you wrote this this is my language and this is how I do stuff on my end. He's like, so I'm, he was very thankful. And again, Steven was so impressed because Steven does work with primarily film actors. And um, he made a comment about how not realizing like a theater actor is so used to memorizing these incredibly long monologues and lines and so many lines because you're on show, like on stage every night and you're, you're doing it live for so many people. So yeah, like, there is no cut. There's no cut. Theater, like, yeah. And you were able to just, just yeah. Because when I was nervous about doing all of this, that's what literally Steven and Gabby were coaching me ahead when I was like full on panicking about being Vera. I was like freaking out. And Steven's like, Taylor, if you mess up, don't worry, we just got cut. And we just redo it again. Not yeah. Like, okay. But no, but like, wild. then you're over here and you did the entire monologue <laughs> start to finish. And I was like, I have maybe eight lines. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe eight lines. And that's even dramatic. And one of them is literally just a word that says Tamlin. So, like, <laughs> so <laughs> I was nervous. And you're over here. I was like, this is insane. <laughs> but it's cool because that's the value, I think, of theater and people with stage experience because, like, they do have these amazing memorization skills that maybe traditional film actors just don't acquire because they get to keep saying cut and they can go look at their script or so I don't know is that something that you recognized in yourself or the Uh, differences between theater and film yeah I think I think a big thing that I've I'm grateful for my theater experience is that I can I, I think there's a lot of um what do I want to say there's a lot of weight put on the through line of it all. And I think the, the going back to the idea that the audience is reading knowledge within the eyes, I think if I'm able to have, give myself that entire through line, then I don't have to work as hard to put the knowledge in my eyes. So to say like, I start like at the beginning of that huge text, if they cut after maybe two sentences and then we film the end, I would have to have the knowledge of the entire monologue 
while I was filming the end. But if I got myself from beginning to end in one take, then there's no work to put that knowledge into that take, if that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah no, that so makes I, sense. I found that beneficial to where I, I was, you know, on a roll, we were moving and we, you know, we cut it eventually. So to get more specific shots, but I was, there was all one continuous work session with Gabby and Steven. So I could keep that through line the entire way. Um, and so I, I, I um, contribute that to, or attribute that to my um, theater experience. Yeah. It- it was extremely impressive and like it's something I didn't even think about. So can I just tell you one thing I wanted to like I don't think I've ever told you. So you remember the first time when you walked up behind me uh-huh. in the scene? So you had like told me a little bit, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna change it up and I'm gonna walk behind you. And I was like, Oh, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Like uh-huh. I did not realize what you were actually going to do. Oh yeah. And because you were like so resand and like again, it's such a switch and you're just like when you're Reese, you were such like a, a I guess a powerful presence uh-huh. that um the the cut we used in the take in the actual film was my first reaction when I was like, What? really very genuine yeah steven literally looked at me and goes we're probably going to use that but let's run it again just (laughs) and i was just like you have this i was holding my breath like i was looking like what is going on because he's coming behind me but i don't know what you're actually doing like i was very like (laughs) it was very like weird not weird but like it was very just like i was like caught so off guard so off guard for the scene yeah yeah but i was like i don't know whose direction that was you or gabby but whoever's direction that was good idea it was, because... I, it was, I, I, I attest that to Gabby. She was like, and then you're going to come up. Cause you, this is the first time you're saying this and you're a recent is a very dramatic person. He's going to say that right next to your ear. Yeah. It was really, I, I loved that. I loved all the movement. I think some people were like, well, you know, there were a few comments where they're like, isn't he supposed to be sitting the entire time? And I'm like, okay like guys like how boring would that be yeah if you just sat in a chair for like seven minutes <laughs> like just no like it, i i like the way i mean i'm completely biased but i'm like Man, this, was, <laughs> this is how it should have been like written as like he's like walking around he's leaning over the sure, table sure. invading her space yeah. i'm so curious yeah like when what who comes will out, do and i'm so curious because Okay, Stephen and Gabby made, or Stephen and his brothers made a um, Star Wars fan film many years ago, like over a decade ago. Wow. And it's, it has like, it's, I'll send it to you. It has like millions of views on YouTube. It's so good. And now when they're watching the new Star Wars movies, Andre and I have all chatted with him about it. And he's like, hey, I can literally, that's the exact same fight sequence we use. Moves, same camera shot, same angle, same this, same that. So you know they've watched it. Like if you go back, you can watch their fan film and watch some of the stuff from Star Wars now. And you're just like, oh my gosh. You can literally see it. It's, it's wild. Yeah. So I'm curious when Hulu comes out with their show, yeah. if they don't cast you, which they need to cast you. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure I have literally so many people in the comments that are like, so, so is he going to audition? So is, is, I'm not accepting any other resand. And I'm like, I'm insane. And I literally tag Hulu at every single comment. I'm like, yeah, Hulu with the eye emojis. Like, Hulu. Whatever, like <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> um, but anyway, yes, I'm curious to see if when they if do they chapter use any of the similar things. Or anyway. if they like do flashback scenes or the table lean or the caressing of the paintings. So yeah, 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 yeah. The caressing of the paintings was all Gabby. And I thought it was such a beautiful hint or like a, a beautiful addition and detail that elevated the scene from something that is great to something that is incredible yeah yeah and the fandom really appreciated it. <laughs> they really really liked the hand movements yeah so let's talk about like premiere day uh-huh. and like can you take us through your mindset on premiere day the 21st or the 4th which one no oh, sorry the uh, the physical premiere our premiere the, okay yeah i it was i guess you could do both to be honest sure sure it <laughs> was very exciting um i was very nervous too i actually was able to um both of you both of you know this that my best friend lives in baltimore but he was um on tour in asia and so i sent him a text the day before being like hey shot in the dark i'm going to be in baltimore would love to see you for a second he was said oh, this is perfect timing. I'm flying back to Baltimore today. 
so I got to talk to him beforehand and I said, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. I've never been to a premiere of something that I've done. I don't know a anything that I've done. It's always like, yeah, it's come out. Here's the file. And it's like a computer zip file, you know, um, which is a little bit dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> yeah. But I, I mean, it was so great. And I was in, and talking with both of you saying how many people are coming and how excited people are and seeing comments too. I was nervous. I, you know, I, because the, and here's a big difference between the theater and film is that like when theater you're there for the premiere, you're doing the acting for the premiere. When the premiere of a movie comes out or a film, you it's, I haven't touched it in, what six weeks or something like that before we got to see it so i w i was like it could i don't know what i look like i don't know what i what i'm doing in this thing um i was able to like collect my thoughts and everything and then getting there and seeing everyone in costume people dressed up either looking beautiful and stunning um and their um own attire, or, attire. Or, yeah. yeah in their fan attire or their own attire everyone looked stunning and everyone was so excited well we walked in and it was quiet and i think people were just giddy you know that, that quiet giddiness of like okay show it to me already um and then seeing seeing the the beginning and watching it was so magical it was magical Aww. to watch the both of you at the beginning to see how like all the pieces fell into place. And I was, and I thought to myself, this is everything that I imagined it and so much better. And then seeing myself on the big screen, I, the first thing I thought was I've never seen my face that big in my life. Um, <laughs> that's a big face of myself right there. But watching, but it the, was great. It's a great phase. It was great, and it's a great and, phase. And one thing that I think a lot of actors, at least my my actor friends, struggle with is watching yourself on film or on camera. And it only took a little bit, and I think it was the music, the sound. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't take me long at all to look at to kind of get sucked into the world and not see myself and see resand talking to Feyre instead of, oh, that's myself acting, you know, it was, it, that was really cool. And then, and, and I came out and I was like, whoa, that, that was, that was cool. That was great. Um, I love that. Like we were, we got you uh, the whole video of everyone like at the very end, but I see like you and, or you're just like having a great time eating pop, eating your snacks and drinking. And me and Taylor are literally like, Oh my God. We were like <laughs> holding each other's hands, like sweating, like couldn't even eat popcorn. Couldn't yeah. drink. <laughs> I was, I was silently exactly where you two were just okay. like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hope, hopefully this is going to be good. Hopefully people like it. Yeah. How did you feel when people cheered when you came on? How did that was crazy? That was that was really crazy. Like having an entrance applause for the for the film. I was I was blown away. It was so touching. I I one of a very core memory for me. Um, yeah, it was very touching, and I. I, if if the lights were on and the camera was on me, my face whole face would have been red. Oh. <laughs> How was it interacting with the fans afterwards and stuff? They Did were any, so. Any conversations so, stick out to you? Or? They were so generous. It was it, it honestly it. They I mean they all did. They were all so lovely and the the best part was hearing how much they appreciated what we did how much how much care we put into it um i think that was the thing that touched me the most a lot of them were saying how how grateful they were to see something that they love portrayed so well it and i i and that touched me so much because i was like yeah I, I we we all care so much about this and we're all very passionate about this story 
Um, and then as, as a performer too, it's like, yeah, I'm glad that I did a good job to create the story that you love because I love these stories, but these people love these stories. They, they, you know, they know the stories inside and out. And I am just glad that I was able to give them, um, what they want bring him to life. Yeah. Yeah, To bring bring him him to life life and, um, create the character that everyone had been imagining. It's my favorite comment is always when people say, um, on the, like on our comments and any comment, it's always like, I got the same feeling watching this as when I read the books for the first time. And I'm like, to me, there is no, no comment that'll beat that comment because I'm just like, that is to feel the emotion of what chapter 54 really is. Mm-hmm. And like when you're piecing all the moments together, like, holy crap, he's been, this has been in the works this entire book and you didn't even put any of the pieces together. And right. This is massive confession for people to feel that from chapter, like our chapter 54, like, like the same emotion is invoked. Mm-hmm. It just, yeah. that to me is like the, the best comment. Absolutely. Yeah. And watching the reaction videos of people and being able to see their eyes and their reactions and their hands, I it like, brings me so much joy because I can see them feeling and experiencing this story that we're telling. Yes. I have to send you another one. Someone made another one the other day. So I can send you. <laughs> it was so amazing. So right, yeah, right now it's got 79,000 views on YouTube and wow. 700, 722 comments, all of which are positive. Um, I haven't seen a single negative comment on YouTube. And I just want you to know too, Max, like the very first teaser p- video we ever put out there on Instagram it has 930,000 views and wow. it's probably going to be our first video to hit a million on Instagram. That's yeah. insane. That's yeah. insane. And, yeah, and our most recent one I posted with the the audio edit of Starfall has like over half a million views. Wow. Which is so cool. So like what is that for you with the online the social media like how much attention it's gotten on TikTok and Instagram like do you did you ever look like, did you ever go look at the comments and like, see what's out there? See what people are saying? Like, uh, I have a little bit, I, I have a little bit li- read them. Uh, I definitely am a little coy boy when it comes to that of like, <laughs> oh, I don't want to see what people are saying. Stop. Cause we have some comments to read. To you. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll get a lot of that today, I guess. But <laughs> the, the social media, um, a footprint of this all of all of this is very it's overwhelming and exciting and just seeing how many people enjoy the story and and just having so many people see my face is crazy and and for me to portray this character that people fall in love with i mean i did i certainly did when i was reading the books so to be that guy for half a million people is crazy more than that. like <laughs> it is yeah. right now more i guess and yeah. it's i i'm excited and i and i'm i'm excited to see what else happens because i i i, I can't say that you know over half a million people don't want more <laughs> <laughs> you know they definitely do and so do we of course and yeah. chapter 69 and 70 i literally cannot wait i literally cannot wait <laughs> for the aqua war scene you have no idea like i that is going to be my if i die after that then i i'm happy <laughs> so a lot of people probably don't know that the cast and everyone sat down and watched the film together can you tell us about a little bit how that how, how oh that yeah go? what was so that, that was like that was like you? the actual premiere when it came out on youtube and that was I want to say it was probably more scary just because it's, it was a room full of my peers, some people who had no idea what the story was about. So they were like, you have, you have elf ears wings. and, and wings. Wings what is, what's, and that's all I really know. And I'm like, okay, but just, just watch. I'll explain it to you later. Um, and then some people who were more obsessed with the books than I was, um, you know, the people, who, the people who started the book club and the people who read all five books in a week and, you know. Shout out to Cassidy. <laughs> exactly. Shout out to Cassidy. Shout out to G-Man. Shout out to the whole Aladdin, um, the whole Aladdin book club. But it was very exciting 
because it was a room full of people who love the story, love storytelling and as as actors and also love me and it, it, i was nervous but then at the same time i was i felt so supported because <laughs> val, val i think um you had seen the show recently and you were like if you could take you know like video or like pictures for people and i was like okay so i was sneaking videos of their reactions and just seeing their wide eyes and seeing their reactions and half the room was like i didn't even know you were filming us they were so enraptured by the film it was cassidy um, a couple of times it was it was you really said this, cool. like, she would like turn back oh and yeah like, cassidy screamed like, jaw open like looking at you i was like oh my gosh this is the best she's my favorite person like <laughs> yeah she she's very animated and we love it and she also called too she was like don't be surprised if you get some people commenting about your hands after this premieres and i was like okay and sure enough the next day i got a text from taylor someone literally commented about um what did you say i hope i included it in the funny comments um something along the lines of it was the video we put out on tiktok and instagram about gabby's direction that she gave you yeah with the she hands. literally said um touch her things invade her space be feral or something like that. oh yeah and um, caress her art like you would caress her body that was it and um, someone commented underneath there, something along the lines of, "Yeah, I'm sorry, but all I can think of is those hands under the, uh, those hands in like Hewn City or something like that when Faye was sitting on his lap. And I was like, excuse me, what, what is going oh. on right now? I mean, some of these, so there are so many comments that I don't let stay on the page. <laughs> There's a few, Yeah. <laughs> and so many people were like, so when are you coming in chapter 55? And I was like, I <laughs> so many people. Oh, no, no, no. Not this kind. We are not HBO. <laughs> we do not have the proper safety measures in place for something that like is... that. <laughs> no, you can <laughs> yeah. be on a different website. I think the next closest comment is probably, are you making chapter 55? Yeah. Are you filming chapter 55? And I'm so like, Go, I will send you to a, a website. There's definitely a website for yeah, that. There are I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Let me read some of these comments to you, Max, and have you react. I don't okay. know if you've seen some of these or not. But um, one of this, uh, somebody said, Apollon Muses said, I need this biblically, biblically. I need this in a way that is concerning to feminism. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my favorite. <laughs> comment uh, that took a second to click and i was like wait what <laughs> this person's like i'm waiting for this more than my university degree <laughs> <laughs> somebody said reese dm me your address please baby need to catch a quick flight from the uk you left a bobby pin at my house <laughs> wow Literally, okay, niche, but respect to these shirt choices because they love saying how you can see muscles through a shirt in these books, and I get it now. <laughs> I commented back, and oh, I was like, boy. as the person in charge of the costumes, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's good costuming right there. <laughs> Attention to detail. <laughs> Not me shamelessly slowing down the playback speed to savor each second of this teaser. Looks amazing. <laughs> Max, that was the one I made of you. <laughs> and I was like, all right. And Ori had sent me some like pictures that day. And it was like one of you was two of them. You were shirtless in, but it like showed off your tattoos that we put on. And I was like, all right, I'll just add them in there. But I put them on for like literally a brief second. And I even blurred uh -huh. out it a little bit just to like, you know, give you some dignity. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, I know you're in Aladdin and you're technically shirtless sure all the time in Aladdin. But I was like, eh, you know, resand. Sure. And I was like, let's be, let's be nice. So I even like blurred out like this blackish filter on there, like made it a little grainy. So it wasn't like, you know, too much, you know. And I, like, uh -huh. I remember everything was like five, or one second to five seconds. I remember I purposely made that one three seconds. These people. <laughs> <laughs> Slowing it down. I remember seeing that one and You're like, I, I'm saw, a I watched it with Ori. <laughs> you are. <laughs> well, I watched it with Ori and I was like, who took that picture? Who took that? And she was like, that was me. What do you think took that picture? I was like, mm, We had you. hidden cameras. Right. Hey, you know, giving the people what they want. I did text you. I sent you the video early ahead of time. And I was like, do you mind if I post this? <laughs> like, Oh, yeah. We definitely want your <laughs> consent right. before we <laughs> yeah. make you a sex object. We want you to consent to it first. <laughs>
this is like a, I call it the, the resand thirst trap video. That's literally how I refer to it. Like, we have like different ones. Like, yeah, the star yeah. video, the resand thirst trap video, the teaser video, the wedding scene video. <laughs> like, the wedding scene. Oh, I, I mean, my friend Cassidy, she was like, you're like, just be careful because, like, this is even before we filmed. She was, she was like, if this is going out, like, this is what's going to happen to you. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So somebody said straight off the book pages, even his smile and facial expressions. Someone said just got nervous and couldn't make eye contact with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I literally went dot 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 oh out loud fire emoji. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny. So he's gonna get casted in the official Hulu one, right? I will not be able to see anyone else as him. <laughs> That's for Hulu to decide. Dude. I had I have such a hard time finding my resand, but sir, you are it. <laughs> <laughs> Respect you. See, and those comments I'm like, oh like Max, there's literally just do me a favor I one mean, day. Uh, while you're on the subway, just go through and scroll because for us, like, there's not as many comments about Fair and more because, I mean, let's be real, we knew ahead of time. Yeah. Like, we wanted the whole scene to be focused on you, like on Reese. And it's a mostly female, you know, audience. They care about, yeah. they care about the High Lord. <laughs> um, yeah, if you read the books, you would yeah, know that. Yeah. But so we <laughs> just, in for us who were not Reese and, but like when I have like, <laughs> sounds so weird but like I have this like proud mom feeling yeah. <laughs> and every time I see everyone just giving you all this love in the comments like nothing makes my heart happier because one the fact that I think it takes so much courage to even step into the role and be like I want to be resand because he like you said he is like the daddy the book boyfriend he is the man He's of the book king, talk yeah. there is He's the book king. no one on no other character in the book community who is as well known and loved and I like Reese is it Reese is the definition of perfect um and so I think when you said yes to like taking on this role it's it's a big deal and you seeing everyone we love you and we're biased but we saw it in person and I remember commenting to everyone I was like you guys think this is good I just want you to see him bring this character to life because wait for the film to come out but it's just seeing everyone love you in the comments just makes me the happiest in the entire world because I'm like, this man is getting the recognition he deserves because he took a huge leap of faith, like taking on this role, taking on this character. Like, so please just do me a favor. Just go on YouTube tonight and just like look at some of these comments because dear Lord, like it just makes my heart the happiest. Like on your subway ride, just be like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For you too. I will. I will looks gentle and like he'll fuck you up if you overstep all at the same time i mean that's that's a little true for my my personality in real life yeah <laughs> finding a perfect reese is impossible by the cauldron you've done it by the cauldron. that has 2500 <laughs> likes on that comment that comment has 2500 <laughs> likes <laughs> okay so the audience had a few questions so let's dive into there before we I want to make yeah, sure we don't run do out it. of time for people to get their questions answered okay um let's see somebody just said no question hi Max you were amazing <laughs> but uh which Reese moment besides chapter 54 do you want to recreate the most oh that's good um it would either be um in the third one that the like, like kind of like war speech that's... at the end before they go into battle that it's like incredible yes or honestly i i i think about this um whenever i either have no motivation to go to the gym i think about being resand walking into the court of nightmares Ooh. Mm -hmm. and that moment of him just like oozing oozing don't f with me yeah oozing don't f with me like and like just like him switching on to that and maybe like the before of like i hate doing this i don't want to do it and then but i switching have to turning on that character within a character oh, man, what does he say he's yeah. like i'll forgive you for only making like putting one throne or something 
Yeah. 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 So somebody said, no question, just keeping our Reese. <laughs> um, somebody said, are, is he planning to reach out to the Akatar TV show team about trying out for Reese? He should. I mean, if it's happening, I, I, I haven't had, I haven't heard anything. Okay. I will have to but you would be check open, in with my representation. Maybe? Absolutely. Are you yeah. to do more resand? Yeah. <laughs> I think at that point we might lose you as our reese, but I would say it was for the better. Class. It would be worth it. Yeah. I want you. To, I literally want you to like have like seven million trillion dollars and have all the recognition and love in the world. Like you deserve everything. We're such proud moms, even though we're not your moms. I would bring both of you to the premiere, <laughs> please. I just feel like a paparazzi. I feel like a mean girl's mom. <laughs> are you in slash willing to be in any touring broadway shows i have been in touring broadway shows i did mama mia from 2015 to 2017 i did the king and i uh right after that uh, for a year and then i did miss saigon for six months and then i was in the touring aladdin production for a year before the shutdown Oh, and then you went right to Broadway. So, uh, I would, I'm not opposed to doing it again. And sand coming to I a theater done, near you. I someday. did it for four and a half years. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. That's awesome. Okay. Um, a lot of people are asking if you read the books before, but you, you have. So, uh, how long did it take you to memorize Reese's monologue slash lines in chapter 54? It took me about two and a half weeks to fully do my actor homework with that. Um, and adding uh, lines back into it and working with the script to create it into the specific format, the screenplay format, and then building the script to the way that would help me the most um, helped. But I would give myself like two and a half weeks of solid work to memorize and then do the actor homework as well. What is your career and personal goals for this year? Oh, <laughs> um, my career goals, I would hope to do more film and TV, but personal goals and they're kind of tied. I, uh, diving more into my, uh, or revisiting my creative side, um, as an artist and as a storyteller, I'm, uh, revisiting my creative side to explore, uh, more avenues through which I can do storytelling. That's awesome. We can't wait to see what yeah. you do. Anything you do, let us know. We will support it and post it everywhere. Absolutely. Yes. Um, okay. Firstly, you were amazing, Max. What was your favorite part about playing this role? My favorite part of playing this role was probably the being able to create and um, portray a character that is otherworldly, who has 500 years of experience. I mean, that's something that not a lot of actors get to um, tackle. To be able to build a character who's had such monumental moments in his life, all leading up to this moment of admitting to his mate that he loves her, um, was it, it's kind of a dream come true for, as an actor and for me personally, yeah. Someone wants to know what does Max really think about Reese? What do I really think of Reese? Where are you in your actor journey? I'm like a chapter left. You're almost done. Almost done. Basically done. Um, I think. I think he deserves the world um, for what he's done for his people, for his family. I think he's, I think he can, I, I, I would be interested to just sit with him at a bar <laughs> because I think he's gone through so much and he's had to deal with the entire world and then some that <laughs> experiencing him as a person would be really cool. I think him as a person is, I think he has maybe a, a, a tick off of 
perfect personal, a perfect balance between um, arrogance and caring. Yeah, that's a good way to describe like him. Arrogance is fully blown <laughs> up. He knows what he's doing. It's not anything that he doesn't know. It's more, I would say, confidence and care. Can I ask a question? Who um, is your favorite bat boy? My favorite bat boy? Cassie. Okay. Really? Nice. You're, nice. So you're not yeah. biased towards your guy, huh? No, no. I think, well, and I also think my, my big thing is I, I, I see how much he's struggled. And I think, especially in the fifth book, you just see a lot of Cassian's personality come out. And as just a struggling person, and I think a lot of Rhysand's personality that comes out, especially in the second book, is uh, directed towards Feyre. So it's very like, you are my mate and I can't get enough of you. And I think that's what I relate to Reese the most, is this like loving, I I am just, my soul is your soul. And oh my gosh, we noticed that last night with you. you and Ori. Literally, I think, was it you who said, I love the way he looks at Ori and I love the way you talk about Ori and everything. It was just really cute. It is, it is one of those things where like, I'll read how he describes the way he looks at her or the way Feyre describes how Reese treats her or looks at her or talks to her. And I like 100% I'm like, yeah, that's, I get it. Like that's, uh, that's what I made a comment too. driving back last night. I was like, how, how you were with Ori last night on the stage when you're just giving her kudos for like, so impressed with how she was being so funny. You, I was like, you, I was like, you can just tell how much he, he loves, loves her. her. And it's like, so cute. We love love. And like, we love yeah. you guys. And I, yeah. So just from like observers, we were just like, wow, that's, that's like really beautiful. It your relationship is really beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody said just congratulate him because he did so good playing Reese. Mm -hmm. Um, and then somebody asked, were the wings heavy? No, the wings weren't heavy. Um, no, they weren't. They weren't too heavy, and I guess that's for the better because I'm supposed to have them since birth. So <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to act so natural with them. Well, yeah. Did you find it weird wearing wings? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, because I haven't lived my whole life wearing wings. <laughs> um, what was your favorite scene? My favorite scene. My favorite scene to do. Was probably Starfall. Yes, same. Taylor and I found a good connection. We found like something that was that actors talk about a lot. That is just that thing, and we got it, and we they captured it on film, which is cool. My favorite scene to watch was the wedding scene because Reese winnowing in. Oh, that effect! I gasped. I gasped. The gasped. I gasped. <laughs> the gasp. I gasped. I gasped. <laughs> that was Stephen did such a good job with that. Oh my gosh. But also Starfall just cracks me up because literally I, it was the last thing we filmed that day and I just felt so at ease. I was like, it's the end. It was a good time. And literally I had a time I was like, hey, do you, um, do you know these lines? And you were like, no. And I was like, I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> so we were sitting there for, for like five minutes. I was like, let's just go over these lines. And that's when Valerie, you asked the we're question. Like, sec, yeah. yeah. You're like, are you going to get hit in the face? I was like, what? no one's hitting me in the face. And I was like, we're not really hitting me in the face <laughs> with anything. Like, please don't do that. But yeah, Starfall was my favorite for sure. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, the winnering. Everyone was very impressed with that. Um, let's see. Any other ones I want to pick out before we end here? Oh, wait, who's your... If we all have book boyfriends, who's your book girlfriend? Like, ah. If you were going to say, like, who's your, like... My book girlfriend. Out of, like, Akatar, Like, um, Cassian is my, my book boyfriend for life. Honestly? And this is very recent. Probably Gwyn. Mm. I love Gwyn. Oh. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to tell I Jen. Think she is the coolest, sweetest. She sounds like a little bubbly too, and like in a very demure kind of way. And I think that's really cute. That's a great question. Oh my, oh my gosh! gosh. Uh, so Jen's favorite character in all of actor and all the book world is Gwen. 
That's oh, her really? girl. That is her girl. Her I, I like. I slowly fell in love with her reading this fifth book. I think she is just so wonderful. When you're done the book, let me and know. And probably like what she does for Nesta too. Um, that makes me appreciate her so much more as well. Yes. Okay. One last question. I've got to wrap it up because getting dinner with my sister. <laughs> Okay. This is such a hard hitting question, Max. I'm not sure you're ready for this one. Does he realize that he played our high Lord perfectly? (laughs) Oh, now that you said it, I I have realized it. Thank you. That is. (laughs) Do you have any final words, thoughts, shout outs, anything you would like to say before we hop off here, Max? I think that the fandom needs to know that without you two, this would never be a thing that I would have never gotten the chance to explore this character and to create this character. And I think the two of you are the perfect people to do this. Um, No one, no one has more passion, more energy and more fun talking about these books, creating the stories that these books um, tell and yeah, just living in this world. It's amazing. I'm, I'm blown away and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Max, you really love you and Ori so much. Literally. I literally call it like our little core group that we filmed that day. Like it's the inner circle. That's the inner circle. That's the That's inner, inner circle. circle. That's the little. I feel like we do have, we'll always have chapter 54, no matter what, like, are that we'll always have that day we'll always have that inner circle chapter 54 and I just think it's so special and I hope you guys feel the love because we just care about you guys so much and we want an invitation to the wedding we will pay our way don't worry we'll pay for our meals we have to go (laughs) even if you elope like just let us know we'll be there we'll be witnesses Yes, we'll fig- we'll figure it out. We'll we'll be there. Um, but <laughs> we just really appreciate all that you guys did and all that you put into it as well. It wouldn't be nothing without you. And the wings, though, like so, yeah. so many people comment on the wing movements. And for anyone who doesn't know, that was Max's partner Ori. Yes. She was behind yeah. him as the the wing woman, so to speak. Yeah, <laughs> she was the wing woman. <laughs> I really messed up when I did not have Stephen put her she in. Just the definition of wing woman. <laughs> but everyone loved the subtle movements yeah everyone loved that and she executed that perfectly like I can tell in the film when it's Ori and then when I had to step in for a second and I'm like these mm -mm, those are those are vowel (laughs) movements they are not Ori movements like I can tell (laughs) but she's just so lovely and yeah um, all of you guys, you know, we are currently crowdfunding for chapter 69 and 70. And we are selling merch to try to raise money to be able to bring this to life. And uh, I think I know Taylor and I want nothing more than to see you back on the screen again, because Max, you are a gem. You are such a talent. And we couldn't ask for anybody better to be our high lord. And our friend, like, I feel like the best thing is like the friendship that's come out of this. I was like, oh my God, I just love them. I just. I'm friends with Aladdin. (laughs) And for us to be such huge Disney nerds and to have been like princess character entertainers in our past, like in Maryland area, it's too, like you couldn't have, couldn't have made, it's like freaking so perfect. Like the fact that we, that you are in a Disney show on Broadway, one of the my favorite of all time it's just it's meant it to be me so excited every time you guys came oh. three times and i every time i was so excited that you guys oh. were seeing the show. i'm happy you heard all of our cheering last night that made me really happy because i got yelled at oh, yeah. everyone heard it and they appreciated it oh, they God. really did yeah <laughs> you are incredible and we cannot wait to see what you and Ori do next or continue to do in your future. And we will always support you guys no matter what. And we, you know, we'll see you for chapters 69 and 70. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you two do in the future as well with this podcast with 69 and 70 and beyond. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll let you go. Have a great show tonight. Break a leg. Give Ori a hug for me. Thank you so much. I know you guys will do amazing because you're just incredible. 
Oh, Thanks. such talent. Okay, yeah, we're done. We're done. Glo- so we're done doting on you. Too. We literally are like proud parents. Like just. Like- <laughs> oh wait, one more question. I'm so sorry. Did what, did your parents see it? Oh yeah. What did your parents think? I meant to ask that. They loved it. They they saw it. They uh, I think my mom started the series. I don't know if she ever finished. She like took a picture of the physical copy of Akotar. I was like, I'm starting today, and I was like, okay. Um, I don't know how far she got. Maybe oh, that's kind of weird. To that like the first, be reading like chapter fifty-five, like, oh, so this is who my son is playing. <laughs> exactly. So I'm, I'm like, I, 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 w- I would have been okay if she read it or didn't read it. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> but they loved it. They liked it. They, they did. They loved it. They loved the story. They, my mom said it was weird listening to me talk in a British accent. <laughs> she said, just, "She's like, you're my son. I, I've heard you. I heard your first words, and to hear you now speak." She was like, just learn how to speak correctly. And I was like, okay, mom. <laughs> Everyone love. I mean, even English people thought you were English. So you killed it. You killed it. And that, oh, <laughs> to hear that, that means so much to me. Wait, what about Thank your dad? You. What did your dad think? Because I know I was like sending you stuff to send to him. Like the oh, teaser. Yeah. My dad loved it. He, um, he really enjoyed the, the, like the pieces of it. And, um, what am I trying to say? He enjoyed the fantasy side of it all, like the wings and the ears and the winnowing and starfall with the stars hitting. He, I, th- I think my dad, he's not much of a reader, but if he did read this book, he would it'd really enjoy it for the fantasy aspect. That's awesome. Well, that's so good. Well, all right. I got to wrap it up because we got to go get some pasta, but we love you and adore yeah, you, Max. Pasta. Tell Ori that we say hi and we miss her already. And she is Absolutely. a gem. And you guys make sure to look at the links below. We will be putting our merch and our crowdfunding in the links below and follow us everywhere at Whimsy Gossip. And Max, your handle? Uh it's Ikaika.Erlich. Okay, what does that mean? Because I don't say Ikaika. I go, I can't. my Hawaiian name. Oh my, that's my I Hawaiian never name. realized that. that. I'm literally mom. dying. No, it's all right. It's all good. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my my mom's hula master gave it to me when I was born. Oh my God, I love that. And the fact, too, that you have the Hawaiian like background and then I just moved from Hawaii and started Whimsy. It just, it's all connected right? yeah, no, everything is connected yeah. right exactly and also if you go see aladdin on broadway in new york city you can catch max and ori there um tuesday through sunday correct yes. not on mondays i will put all of our handles down below make sure to follow all of us so you can support our journeys and go catch aladdin in new york city tuesday through sunday and chapter 54 it's out now yeah, on youtube all right. Good night, Max. Good we'll night. See. I love you both. Thanks again. Thank you. We'll see everyone next week for another episode of Whimsy Gossip. Bye.